Hey everyone, it's the 14th of January. It's about, I don't know, half nine, something like that. I can't see the clock from here, hang on. Yeah, I went too far off, it's actually quarter past nine. And uh, yes, I'm filming this video directly after the last one that you would you um, would have seen. Uh, I've bought two more electrical devices. <laughs> yeah, no, I said I was going to declutter and sell things, blah, blah, blah. What do I do? I go on Facebook Marketplace because I was bored and just looking and I buy stuff again. <laughs> but I couldn't let these this pair go as they only cost me a tenner for the pair. Ten pounds. About 15 US dollars, something like that. Give or take. Um, so, I've got them hiding under here. So I'm going to uncover them. So here we have them. Two music centres. Obviously they need work. Um, and either the turntables are actually working at the minute. This one's got its lid. That one hasn't, unfortunately. Um, but this is a radio system stereo system rather that I've wanted for ages but whenever you see them come up for sale and it isn't often they're usually quite high up there with the cost um, because you know these were something you know fancy back in the day you know some people would have been lucky to have something like that or uh, like that but uh, yeah I wouldn't mind um, having a go at restoring these. I definitely want to keep one. I don't know which one yet. I can either keep the uh, Amstrad. I actually opened the door so I could read what it was and I remembered it just as I opened the door. So we've got an Amstrad system or a Hitachi system. Um, to me, they're both nice looking systems. This Hitachi is quite nice to look at. But I also like the sort of 1970s style here as well. Um, and I believe they both have... Yeah, it's got the audio analyzer as they call it there, basically a VU meter, and that one's got it as well. A bit smelly. <laughs> but I've been stored in a shed for some time, so... Considering they're not in bad condition. This cabinet really needs some work, though I'm not sure if stuff... Well, actually, that's just the covering that's chipped. So I suppose if I could get the recover some new covering, but pardon me, then uh, I could do that and recover it. But yeah, I really do not know which one. Well, that one ejects. That one ejects. Pause button works. We've got another little thingy there as well. Set counter. Record level. Oh, mic mixing thing there as well for two mics as well. Tape, noise reduction, etc. Muting, I'm not sure what AFC is. What have we got up there? Mode, loudness, rumble, scratch, I don't know what that is. Nice a volume knob there. Uh, treble, bass, balance, and selector. We've got MW, LW, FM, tape and phono. But I have wondered if I could somehow add a CD player to this as a separate system, maybe. I don't think these have actually got um, an AUX input on the back. Not that really matters, I don't need a CD player. I've actually got a portable one under the bed. That allegedly works, I just haven't tried it yet. It'd be interesting to know if the tape decks actually work. Um, he did say this one was spinning when he checked it. So we've got, oh, we've got a graphic equaliser as well. Look at that. So I've actually said to my brother if I can actually get one of these working, just one, so I want That one actually rolls on the we its wheels better as well. Then again, that's actually got better casters on it. 
Yeah, if I get one of these working, my brother can have the stereo that's in the lounge. Or I might keep that one that's in the lounge and put this one up the corner. I plan to put it up there. And you're probably thinking, but how am I going to do that when I want to put the railway up there? Yeah, I just won't be able to use it when the um, railway is down. Or at least not the record player, anyway. Let's eject work on these. Oh, that's a really soft eject. Cabinets need some work, if anything. Um, record players or the turntables do not actually work on these, they need attention. But as far as I can tell, that's all that needs the attention. Um, unless, of course, the belts are shot on these. Ooh, looks like you can play metal tapes on this one as well. What's this options has this got that? We've got mic level. Volume control. Tuning. Dolby. This one's definitely a later one than the Amstrad then. Well, it's obvious because this one's black. They were very fond of making things in black in the 80s, weren't they? And the 90s actually, come to think of it. Some crap, something on there. You can put two mics in on this one as well. Function selectors and phono tape and FM MWLW. And that is simply for the balance. Tuner moves. Yep. Tuner moves. Yep. And a stereo indicator as well. What if that display lights up? But I think I actually like this one the most. But uh, I think I will... Uh, tell you what, I haven't got any speakers at hand though, have I? Mm -hmm. Alright, this is just going to be a quick video just sharing these. The next one, I'll get the speakers out and I'll get some cassettes and things and we'll actually see... Uh, what does actually work and what doesn't? Hitachi. Do you think? Do you think this is an a, a uh, Hitachi? <laughs> Every part of it's got Hitachi on it. PLL multiplex circuit. I have absolutely no idea what that is. I don't know if it's a thing or if it's, as they say, marketing wank. Power indicator there. FM stereo indicator. Phones. Power. Graphic equaliser. Yeah, I'm happy with these. Especially just for £10. For £10 I'd be happy if I could only get this one working. Or just one of them working, you know, you can't beat that. Oh, Ten pounds for the pair. That is a steal. It's just a shame that one's missing its lid. I suppose it's overly important, but it would complete the look of it, wouldn't it? I do something with that poxy cable. Have we actually got a stylus in these? Uh, I can't quite see on that one, I don't think so, to be honest. I think we have on that one, though. He did say he did get that one to spin, but we couldn't do it when we were looking in the shed. But anyway, he did say in the advert, you know, that neither of the turntables were working, so... I'm just going by the assumption that neither of them work even though he said he did get that one to spin 
that one's belt drive. I think looking at the base of that because all of that fell out in the car. Um, well, we are missing the little adapter piece though. I'll steal that from one of the other record wires. Yeah. Yep. But all I can say is, yep. <laughs> right. So, thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for more videos regarding these two beasts. Bye.